Okay, so, hey, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Alana is making mashed potatoes for our new recipe that I haven't figured out the name for for later. But you need to do this early in the day. And uh, you make the mashed potatoes and then you need to let them cover and cool before you can handle it. Alana, tell everybody so far what you've done. Well, I read the ingredients on the back and I, it's, you double everything if you want to make two of the packages and you put three cups of water one cup of milk and four tablespoons of butter which should be in there right now yep okay. and until it's heating show the package potatoes on the side roast the garlic right it has to be done early in the day for it to be cooked and then um alana will show at the end of when it's all mixed together once she turns the burner on and gets some cooking oh yeah <laughs> I did turn it on. So I turn it off. No. Yeah. I did not. I haven't touched. Okay. It. I always use the big one. The small one sucks. Okay. The big one's fast. Um. Okay. So as soon as the line has got that heated to a full rolling bowl, should be back with you. Hey. Turn it off. Hey. Oh, recording. You can wait. Oh, Tell them what you're doing. Package, you took it out the box. Uh, I'm cutting open the packages. And then you just pour it in there. When it's all heated up. Yeah, it's a lot of potatoes in there. You want to double. Try to make a big piece. Oh, it came out the bag. <laughs> and then you just stir until it's thickish. Thickish, yeah, I guess. You gotta get all rid of all the lumps and rip it until everything's smooth. Ow. And it will stiffen as it cools. <laughs> it's like putting on the camera. Okay, now you're done stirring. Cover it. But what we're doing. Alana's going to put a pan cover on it and we're going to refrigerate to later. It's going <laughs> to stiffen inside the refrigerator because of what we're doing. Pan cover? Yes. It's cover. It has a pan cover in there. Um, so stay tuned for more on this special recipe. Yeah, that's the Don't go away. How'd you know? Hello and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner where David came back for a couple hours before he heads out to Georgia. And Thanks we're all glad buddy. that he's back for a little bit to visit us. And even his mother's also proud that he's here. Yes, I am. We're about uh, to feast. I know, you said it all wrong. Tonight, we feast like Vikings. <laughs> yes. Just without the pork plate. Yeah, watch that. Okay, we're off. This is but just... Why does he have his clean clothes here if he's just coming for a couple hours? <laughs> Okay. Well, dear friends, go see if David's got more. He should have more dirty laundry than just that. Baby, somebody's got to take this can. Okay. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Hey, I'll hold the camera for a bit so she gets back. All right, what are you making? Okay. Is this the thing? Yes. That you were telling me about? You know that thing? Yes. Okay, I know what that thing is we're then. We're about to finish up. It's that thing that I don't know, but it was also a thing that I was trying to figure out because it's a yeah, cool thing. I don't know. What? Here, He's on the phone. I don't know. How about camera? Record her. I'll be right back. Well, I can get little lessons. Give lessons on how to wash this. Show me washing dishes. Yeah. Me Look at that sexy face. Why are you using your toilet scrub? I don't know. No, I love that face. Put it on. I'm trying to. You have some on your lips.
will. You can't check in until Sunday? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to work tomorrow. I am. The see, thing is that they don't those tomorrow from here to there, so. You don't stay here. Isn't tomorrow Sunday? All right. David, spend the night here. David, get all your laundry, put it in, and put it in the machine. I had to get our pillows out of the room then, and our covers. Okay. Wait, is it tomorrow Sunday? Yeah, David spend the night here. Oh, okay. okay. He's gonna work tomorrow, but he's only spending a couple of hours here. Okay. What we need to, what we're going to do, first of all, is we need to get the salt. Okay, we're gonna put water in this pan, and we're gonna get this water heating. Not oil, but water. Okay, and then we're gonna salt the water. And this is, well, it'll all be connected anyway, okay? We need to get this water boiling and salted as we're gonna put everything together for, I haven't figured out what to call it yet. Okay, you see we've got a good amount of water in here. We're gonna put it on high. Okay, let's put that on there. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna go get some regular. Let's find some salt. Those girl posts that on my Facebook. Okay. Baby, come here. And some pepper. Okay, I'm not using the seasoned salt, but I'm using the regular white table salt. You see? Um. If you measured it, if you're one of the people that measure, let's say a tablespoon or two. All right, and then um, let's, we're gonna get some salt, pepper, okay? And we're going to do, we're going to do that. Okay, that's regular salt and regular pepper. Okay, let's get the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing twofold on this operation. Okay, we're going to do twofold on this operation. First of all, we have to make the balls. Okay, the mashed potatoes is made more solid now. And we need a container. Okay, we're not baking these per se on a cookie sheet, but what we're doing is gonna put the balls onto that first. We okay, the outer balls we're gonna have to make a little bit larger than what we're gonna do is making the meatballs. Meat the bowl. Well, trust me, this recipe is kind of complex. Okay, we as you can see we have the mashed potatoes. What magic ingredient do we put in a lot of things? Eggs. Why boss? All right, we'll set the eggs over there. Uh, already, hey, okay. Uh, I moved the egg. Okay. All right, moved everything. Okay, I'm gonna put one egg into there. And now <laughs> we're gonna get the flour. Okay, now. We've got the mashed potatoes mix, and mashed potatoes is what mashed potatoes is. They're a little bit. I checked email and I read it, and I saw our checkout date from the Universal Moms was Saturday, and the check-in for the other one was Sunday. I was like, what the heck? Because your your one was nowhere near there. And my house is actually right in the middle of the school. Okay. Now we're putting the flour, white table flour. Or if you have whole wheat, if you want to flavor it that, and we're going to mix it until it creates like a dough. Keep putting it, just keep adding your flour until you can make it into a dough. Now you can make a smaller amount if you like. But we've got to get this to a consistency of a dough. Yeah. You can want to kind of eye it. The egg is just going to make it stick together 
and until we're going to make this. So the day we're gonna have to leave like super early in the mor morning. Well, morning. likely, because he's gotta work. Yep. We're gonna keep adding the flour until it makes a doughy consistency. You want it to make a doughy consistency almost like it's bread. Okay, because this is still full of moisture. Knowing me, I probably made enough to feed an army. <laughs> but that's what I do. He's talking to his boss about the sounds of it. Yeah, talking yeah. about the hotel situation. We want to get this to be like a doughy consistency. While we're doing this, okay, this is almost with the right consistency. Okay, while we're doing this, Sleep here, what goes special? David! Yeah. Your boss can come here if he wants to tonight. He can sleep I'm on the sofa. Call to the office to find out what's up with the box and also probably get his uh, room situated out down there. At Where is his boss sleep though? This is my room. I got a spare sofa. I have a sofa. He lives in blocks. Tennessee. They have to get him a hotel. So yeah, she locked the back door. She's like, no more. So once Pop she leaves, that door. The yeah. door? Once it's she been leaves, open. you got to make sure every door is locked. Well, Dale's too. We need to unlock. You have to go unlock it. Okay. This is still really wet. I need a bigger bowl. Mix this in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this out of a pan and put it into a bowl. <laughs> Evolution at its finest. Start from a pan. Dale, has, Dale doesn't have any right to leave that door open. Um, mm. I don't want that to be on this. We're not going to discuss it on not on YouTube. Okay, that's just a family issue. Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to edit that bit out. <laughs> All right. Um, just keep adding your flour until you get like a dough-like consistency. Now, I suggest you make one batch of potatoes because um, this is made more than what I thought. And well, well, I, it, we'll just have some with meat and then some without meat, or we'll put something in it. Okay, because this is almost perfect. Mm -hmm. No. No. I gotta watch the video. Okay. Now. The water's boiling too. Yeah, we got the water boiling. Turn it off. No. No, no, no. no. I want the water boiling. If this is gonna work. All right, we're going to um. I wash my hands. 
You're about to see genius at its finest. Don't zoom in on boobs. I'm not zooming in your no. face. Hello. Bob. Get out of the way. Hello. All right. Now. The ingredients. Now it's dry. Okay. All right. My hands got washed and dried again. Now I'm gonna take. Flour with your hands. That's important. All right. I will zoom in. Take a blob of this. Okay. Watch this. Tip and hit number one: Do not cook pre-cook your meat. Okay. Looks like a mofongo. Okay. We're, we're gonna make balls. Is that a mofongo? Alright. Do not make small balls. No, I'm just getting some my wallet. You know, buy it. Okay. Anyways. I have my birth certificate, social security card. What would I do just Make sure you keep your hands floured to be able to work with it. Now, if you don't want to add the potatoes for the added flavor, like I did, you could just make a biscuit. Mofongo. Oh, I think it's called relleno. It's one of the two. Is this your last card? That's yours. It says your name on the back. What are you talking about? See, have. No, that's your show. That means savings. That's yours. No, your mom gave it to you. Tell okay. Me okay. Make sure you keep your hands floured and do the entire batch. I can't grow things in my hands. I'm human. Because <laughs> if you come to a sticky part, your flour on your hands will take care of it. Me a lot of meatball things. All right. To to save some time, I'm just gonna make nine. I love that movie. I'm gonna yeah, me too. Um, I'm gonna make nine all together, and cause we'll we'll cook the nine. <laughs> okay. So let me wash my hands and handle the meat now. To prevent cross contamination, you need to. So between the meat and the flour, you need to wash your hands again. What is your membership card? Back here where it's always hidden. Okay. I see, I see. All right, now we're gonna make the meat. Meat. And I'm simply telling you this, do not eat the meat raw. Do not, in this particular case, pre-cook your meat. Of this recipe that is my creation. All right. I do it the way I always do. All right. <laughs> Instant refry. No, I gotta go over there. Okay. Now, take approximately one cup of breadcrumbs. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was already, I thought it was done. <laughs> I was like, is it there. done? There. I guess that's close enough to about one cup of breadcrumbs. That actually is one cup. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese to give it more flavor. Oh, um, how much was that? Uh, let's say half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Yeah, it looks like it. That's pretty close. Yeah. I just kind of eye things, people. I guess it's the when you've cooked a long time, you just have a tendency of being able to look at something and see measurements. Because for those people who say that when you're in school, why should I learn math? I use math every day. Break your yolk. We're gonna start with this, and um. Oh, I can't think of time she didn't use math. I was trying, trying to see if I can actually think of a day. I'll think of one. Yep. 
Okay, we're gonna mix this up. Oh, one pound of ground turkey. Ah. Or if you don't want to use um, ground turkey, don't have it in the house, take whatever ground beef you have in the house, whether it's beef or pork, whatever, it'll still taste. It still should taste just as good. Okay, now that we've got all that pre-done, now it's time to mix. And doing it the old, I do believe doing it the old-fashioned way is the best because it kind of, um, you know, just mixes better in this particular case. Now you want to mix it until the meat has absorbed all of the breadcrumbs. Funny fact, I just thought ground beef actually came from the ground. What? Yeah. <laughs> you heard that here, per people hey, first. I think my cold pay card finally came in, but mail is yours. No, it's not mine. Did David get mail? I'll take one's for Dale and one's for you. Did David get any mail? No, just Dale, you, and Alana. Should I pause? Okay, now this is what we're going to do. You're going to make a hole. A little crazy. Okay, that's exactly right. Make a hole. Okay, now you're going to take some of this. Watch me. And we're going to make a meatball. $4 for Deacon for a month. I need to call along. This is important. That's when I cost the most. I get it for $4 a month now. Okay. Okay. Now, look at this. Put your meatball in the middle. Watch my hands. Meatball in the middle. Okay, watch. Okay, wrap your meatball up. Definitely looks like a mofongo. Okay, wrap oh. your meatball up. You made a Spanish food. Very well, like oh. this. Okay, we're gonna do all these and then we're gonna put them in the water. Okay. Yeah, it's funny, you made a Spanish food, but in a different addition because it's supposed to be like some sort of yellowish material. Okay. You so gain. We're making a little hole. Ultimate points. Wait, that, did I see a cookie? Look. What a cookie. Okay, we're making a meatball again. Roll your meatball. <laughs> okay. Put it up in your hand like this. Watch as I do it. Go to the side and cover oh this is gonna be so cool and cover cover it cover every inch okay all right make sure you keep track of the ones you've done so you don't redo these two are done yeah i'll grab something to put the put them the done on the other end okay now we're going to make another meatball I suggest when we, you do that, if you're going to do it for your whole family, get two cookie sheets. One for the prep and the other for the bottom, for the done. That's a big meatball. Okay. Now we're going to cover it. Cover. Okay. If your hands get sticky, like mine are starting to, dip it in flour. Don't forget your dip in flour. Praise in your top. Okay. You're gonna put like a plate of flour right there. Maybe that. How about that? Your flour keeps your hands from getting sticky. This one here was just a little bit, this ball was just a little sticky, but you know how to do it. You wanna cover until you, it's all into one ball. Okay. I can't wait to do it. Okay. You know what's funny? What? Whenever we make things that are in big batches, there's always like one that always fights with you. The time with the, the time with the potato bombs, one of them didn't want to be eaten. Now that one, and then the last time with the lasagna rolls, it, one of them kept ripping because they didn't want to be cooked. Yeah. Okay. Now we, we made our meatball. Meet the ball. Now we're covering the top. 
I by the time I'm done, I'll hopefully we'll think of a name for this creation. But I just I apologize I haven't covered it. Oh, I just thought of something cool. I just thought of something cool that after these are cooked, take some bacon bits and sprinkle them over the top. We have bad news then. We don't have any more bacon bits. We make your bacon bits yourself. But I don't have any bacon sod, but um, just to add to a little add a flavor to it. But I don't think it's really going to need it. I think this is just going to be totally awesome. Okay. You just got to kind of keep working it one by one. You're going to want to take it. Yeah. Sure. Oh, All right. I've got yeah. them done. I've got them, them done. To, so, um,. Let me let me put these four in cooking to try to save time. Okay, put them on your spatula. Your water is boiling and salted. Drop them in. This is gonna be cool. Okay, watch me now. Drop them in. They're like really giant dumplings. Watch. Oh, oh, but with a surprise in them. Watch, 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 watch. This is heavenly, heavenly. Watch it going in. Ah, it says, ah, it's too hot for me. Ah, there it goes. Okay. Now, while those are cooking, all right. Oh, question, the question, how long do you cook them? Approximately five minutes. With a hot salt and pepper water. While we're doing that, let's get back to, to making some more. Fly, get off the thing. Get back. Shoo. Maybe. Let's watch them too. Okay, Dave, you offer some dumplings? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are dumplings. While those are cooking, the trick is to cook some for your next batch. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Push it with your thumbs. Push it with your thumbs. Get the flour on there. See, you're covering up your meat. Your meat is your guide. Push it <laughs> with your thumb. Oh. See? Push it with your thumb. I guess we could call it turkey dumpling surprise. I don't know what we're gonna call this, but cover it till all your the meat mystery is balls. covered. People will open this up and think, what's inside of it? And when they cut it open, what? Now how did that meat get in there, huh? What? I don't want a giant dumpling. Oh, there's meat inside. Oh, now I really want one now. Okay, making a hole. Where are you going? Okay, We're getting a meatball going. Wow, nice meatball. Nice meatball roll, put it up in there. Okay, that almost looks like a flower. <laughs> if you've got imagination, or it could look like an egg with a yolk in the middle, but it's not. Okay. See? That's done now. We're going to make a hole again. Like a little crater. You're going to have a lot of flour left over. You'll see. Trust me. Okay. We got a nice meat bowl here. Get a 
shower. Wait till it gets okay. Now we've been cooking it quite a while, and look at that. Let me take a taste. Okay. See? Look at that. All right. Let's take a taste. Let me take a taste. It, I'm gonna have to blow on it. It's a little hot. Cook it about, you know, eight to ten minutes, and then. Make sure you blow on it before you take that first bite, cause it is hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, I have to take another bite. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help myself. It is delicious. Give it a try. Enjoy it. And as always, the fun never ends. The world is smart. Feel free to subscribe. Bye, everybody. Oh God.